Hello and welcome to this NFL Super Bowl preview. I am happy to be joined by Joe Rea to preview Super Bowl 49 between the New England Patriots and Seattle Seahawks. Welcome, Joe. What's up, Julian? Thanks for having me. You know, thanks for uh, being with us, Joe. Thanks for being with me for these past 20 weeks of the NFL season. And now we are finally here. We are finally here to preview the Super Bowl Super Bowl 49 between the New England Patriots and Seattle Seahawks. So we have a lot to cover. We're going to break down the Super Bowl, uh, uh, give you a complete breakdown of Super Bowl 49 between the Seattle Seahawks and New England Patriots. But before we break down the Super Bowl, break down Super Bowl 49, uh, I'm going to quickly mention our uh, original Super Bowl predictions, uh, Joe and I's original Super Bowl predictions. Joe, you picked New Orleans over Indianapolis, and uh, as for me, I picked uh, New England over uh, San Fran. Well, uh, with my prediction didn't go uh, as planned this season. Uh, the Saints didn't even make the playoffs. They had a brutal season. Um, but the Colts, they had a shot. They went to the AFC Championship game. Uh, but they just got demolished by the New England Patriots. So my prediction uh, wasn't uh, that good this year. Yeah, I mean, I could have told you on the beginning of the season, Joe, that uh, it just wasn't going to happen. But uh. But hey, uh, I picked uh, New England over San <laughs> over San Fran, and uh, uh, even though I picked them to win the Super Bowl, uh, uh, we're we're going. I'm uh, not only myself, but Joe as well. Uh, we'll 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 give you our exact Super Bowl prediction towards the end of the show. So. As um, we get started, we're going to first start on the Seattle Seahawks. Now, the Seattle Seahawks uh, started off uh, very shaky in the regular season, but after a closed doors meeting with uh, uh, Earl Thomas telling the whole locker room, hey, we got to get our acts together, we have to rebound and and uh, and uh, make it back to the playoffs once again, but um, but, uh, from, from, from there on, from there on, uh, they, uh, they, uh, uh, rebounded. They, um, uh, were able to win home field advantage and the division. Although my question to you, Joe, is, uh, if we recall, um, earlier in the season, the Arizona Cardinals were leading the NFC West division. They were taking the NFC by storm, but, um, but uh, uh, all because of uh, some injuries, uh, Carson Palmer going down, Drew Stan going down, um, um, uh, uh, Docket uh, going down. Uh, you know, some of their key defensive players uh, went down. Um, do you, do you believe? Do you believe if the Arizona Cardinals uh, stayed healthy, still? were able to keep the team intact, keep the team together, then do, do you think the Seahawks would be in this position today? Do you think the Arizona Cardinals instead would be in this position? Well, I mean, first of all, every team goes through injuries. That's what happens in the game of football. But uh, as the Cardinals went through this season, they had a bowl of injuries. First of all, Carson Palmer going down. Uh, right after he signed a huge contract, the week after he tore his ACL, then uh, their backup quarterback, I think Ryan Lindley or Drew Stanton, uh, tore uh, something in his shoulder. So I mean, uh, this uh, that was huge for them, and um, they were on a huge. Uh, they were they were steamrolling through the NFC, and right when Carson Palmer went down, you know, all hell broke loose. I mean. I really think the Cardinals could be in the Super Bowl right now if it wasn't for Carson Palmer going down. I mean, even though Carson Palmer isn't no Johnny Unitas, I mean, they had, I don't know, who their third string was against the Panthers. That was the worst game I've ever seen a quarterback in my life. And uh, with that defense and uh, even the running back, Andre Ellington, going down, they just had so many injuries with the Cardinals. So I really think they could have been in this situation, but it would have been hard. Because the Seahawks right now are just also steamrolling. I mean, they, 
they're just clicking on all cylinders, and that's why they deserve to be in this situation right now. Yeah, I mean, the Arizona Cardinals had a lot to contribute, in my opinion, for Seattle to win home field advantage, for Seattle to win the MC West division. Uh, the Seattle Seahawks uh, luckily turned it around uh, down the stretch. Uh, Russell Wilson luckily turned it around down the stretch and led the Seattle Seahawks to the promised land, back to the playoffs. But um, talk, talk about a huge uh, disappointment, a uh, huge disappointment that Carson Palmer went down for the Arizona Cardinals, a huge disappointment Drew Stan went down for the Arizona Cardinals. Some of their key defensive players went down for the Arizona Cardinals, which really, which really affected them down the stretch. Now they, like you said, Joe, they could have been in this position. They could have been in the Super Bowl. They could have been hosting Super Bowl Forty Nine in their, in in their own state. So, so uh, it's just uh, a little disappointing. Although uh, many many people expected that the Seattle Seahawks were. Um, Clear favorites, clear favorites to make it back to the Super Bowl this year. Um, you know, Seahawks um, have uh, exposed uh, strengths and weaknesses on through the season, but Joe, uh, if you had to name their biggest strength and weakness going into this game against the Patriots, uh, what would they be? What 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 would you target as their biggest strength and their biggest weakness? Um, probably their biggest strength is definitely that secondary. Um, that basically that secondary kept them in that game last week. I mean, two weeks ago against the Packers. I mean, it's the Legion of Boom. I mean, even when Sherman was hurt in that game, the uh, that that secondary is lethal. And probably their weakness right now is um, you know what? They don't have a lot of weapons on that offense right now. I mean, with Golden take on Percy Harvin. I just don't know how they're going to do it right now. I mean, I'll, I'll get to my Super Bowl prediction, but uh, I just don't think they have a lot. I mean, Doug Baldwin, he's a very good uh, wide out. Marshawn Lynch, you know what you're going to get in, in, in him. And uh, Russell Wilson, I think that's all they got right now. So you'll, you'll, you'll hear my Super Bowl prediction later, but that's, uh, that's my weaknesses. Hmm. Yeah, I got to, of course, go with uh, the Seattle Seahawks secondary. I think the Seattle Seahawks secondary is going to give uh, Tom Brady a, a tough time in this game. So I, de I definitely look out for their secondary, although their biggest weakness, uh, not, not too many weaknesses uh, if, you look at, if you look at their team all around. But if I had to name uh, their exact weakness, I'd probably have to say uh, their pass offense. I think uh, – Russell Wilson has to have a really good game in order for the Seattle Seahawks to win. That that simple. Russell Wilson really struggled in his last game against Green Bay. That it certainly affected the Seattle Seahawks, as the Seattle Seahawks defense time and time again tried to get try to get the offense back on the field to score, and and regain momentum, but. Uh, pass offense is a huge, uh, huge uh, concern here about uh, the the Seattle Seahawks. Uh, Russell Wilson must have a really solid game. I'm not saying he has to put on put on a really, really good performance, but he needs to put a, a solid enough performance for the Seattle Seahawks to win this game. Um, Joe. Um, as as most people know, the Seattle Seahawks are dealing with some slight injuries if, if you if you want to say they've been you know uh, Richard Sherman has been de dealing with a slight arm injury uh, Earl Thomas has been dealing with a slight injury Justin Britt has been dealing with a slight injury Max Unger came back from an injury so uh, the Seattle Seahawks have had a history of injuries throughout this past season should we should we worry about Seattle's uh, injury report uh, going into this game uh, no, I mean, uh, every team, even the Patriots, they're hurting. I mean, this is what happens when you get into the playoffs. Every team's hurting. Uh, I mean, uh, they're a little banged up. Sherman's a little banged up with the sprained elbow, but that's no big deal for him. Um, Russell Wilson, I just want to get to something. In that game, there's a lot of speculation that Russell Wilson didn't go through the uh, concussion protocol uh, when he got popped by Clay Matthews on that pick. Uh, that could be something that uh, – people maybe talked about uh 
Uh, he came right back in the game real fast, and they didn't see anything on the sidelines. So you don't know. Maybe they're really quiet this whole week, not saying anything. But uh, that makes something to linger with uh, Russell Wilson maybe having a concussion. You know, that, Joe, that, that's a really good point about Russell Wilson. Um, uh, and you, in fact, just brought that up to my attention. Uh, um, that, may, that may very well affect this game. Uh, concussion from Russell Wilson uh, may, may, may affect this game. Uh, um, and we saw how much uh, it affected the Broncos when Peyton Manning uh, hit his injury from the whole rest of the media, from the whole rest of the team. So, I mean, maybe the team knew about it, but I'm just saying, no, the public didn't really know that Pam Manning was dealing with the injury all all along throughout the playoffs. It just just getting there as well. He, he was dealing with the dealing with a quad injury. So, so, um, it's you know, it's it's a it's a huge concern. A, a concussion is is a huge concern going into the biggest game of the year, the Super Bowl. So, um, so that's definitely uh, something to keep an eye out for. But, uh, but um, as I mentioned, Richard Sherman got injured. Earl Thomas got injured. Uh, Max Unger got injured. Justin Britt got injured. And the offensive line, in my opinion, has been a little shaky this season in Seattle. So, we'll we'll see uh, how how the offensive line does as well in the Super Bowl, but, um, but, uh, but, uh, I think, I think, uh, I think, I think Richard Sherman and Earl Thomas should do just fine. Um, uh, I'll, um, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna save this for later, but, um, but but I'll explain I'll I'll, I'll explain why uh, Camp Chancellor will be a huge factor in this game um, late, later on in this preview. But um but um Joe uh three keys to the Seahawks win the Super Bowl against the uh, New England Patriots. Uh, what are your three keys to the Seattle Seahawks win the Super Bowl? My three keys are probably number one, Camp Chancellor locking down Rob Gronkowski. It's big man on big man. I think he can uh, definitely hold his ground. He showed against the Panthers and the Packers that he can hold his ground. Uh, number two, probably uh, Russell Wilson uh, developing the play. When the play breaks down, he could definitely get maybe past those uh, defensive ends and Ron Nikovich and uh, Jamie Collins. I think he'll be able to get around them. That's a huge key. And uh, number three, probably just uh, Marshawn Lynch. Uh, beast mode, if you could say. Um, uh, beast mode, he's been running the ball great as of late. Um, I mean, he's a hard, trucking uh, running back. Patriots have one as well, LeGarrette Blunt. But uh, I think Marshawn Lynch could be also a huge factor in this game. But I think the biggest factor really is um, Cam Chancellor against Gronk. Yeah, my, my, my three keys to this Seahawks win this game is one Russell Wilson. Like I said, Russell Wilson is a huge factor in this game. If we consider his concussion injury now, so Russell Wilson is a huge factor. If the Seahawks are going to uh, get out, get off the ground and and score some points in this game, number two, the Seattle Seahawks has to force uh, some turnovers from Tom Brady. Uh, Tom Brady uh, won't be throwing deflated footballs this time, but will be throwing the ball. Natural. So, um, so the Seattle Seahawks, uh, I'll better hope that uh, they can uh, stop arguably one of the best quarterbacks in the league and uh, and uh, give them a hard time uh, throughout throughout uh, Super Bowl 49. And my and my last key to the Seahawks win the Super Bowl is Cam Chancellor. Now, uh, I'll, uh, I was going to say this for later, but Cam Chancellor. Um, is a huge factor. Is a huge factor because the Seahawks are going to rely on him. They're going to rely over uh, Richard Sherman, uh, Earl Thomas, um, Byron Maxwell to cover Rob Gronkowski in this huge game. Uh, I think Rob Gronkowski could have a huge game if uh, Cam Chancellor, Earl Thomas, uh, nor Richard Sherman stop 
uh, Rob, Rob Gronkowski. So it's Cam Chancellor's job to stick on Rob Gronkowski and limit as many receptions as possible. Rob Gronkowski can very well run over any defense in the NFL and and uh, be, become MVP of this game against the Seattle Seahawks. Um, Cam, Cam Chan- now, and uh, you know, I was listening to an, an ex NFL player say this the other day, but Cam Chancellor is probably the best in the Legion of Boom. If, if you, know, you go, you can go by s- statistics, whatever you want, but if you just look at Cam Chancellor from um, an in-game standpoint, uh, he's just so more, he's so much more physical than the rest of the Seahawks. Uh, Secondary, he's more, um, more explosive, uh, more, more in tune with the game. A very, very, very smart guy, high, high IQ player. So, oh, Cam Chancellor, it, it, you know, has been very well overlooked throughout his career. But, um, but make no mistake about it, he's he's going to do um, as good of a job by sticking Rob Gronkowski is going to be a huge factor in this game for the Seattle Seahawks win the Super Bowl. So um, since we uh, covered the uh, Seattle Seahawks, now we're going to get on to the doing the Patriots now. And uh, this is what everyone's been waiting for Joe and I to talk about. I, you know, I, I got a few emails about the flake gate and uh, I'll, um, uh, it's it's uh it's really disappointing. It's really disappointing how this adve- investigation has turned out a week prior to the Super Bowl. It's just really really uh, upsetting, upsetting for many uh football players who who don't cheat, who put in uh, so much effort throughout the regular season. Even to the even to the fans of the uh, even to the fans of the NFL, but but um the pat the Pats uh what can I say had a, a decent season once again with uh, Tom Brady um, and and company uh yeah a decent season once again but um um many many will say now the Patriots got a sh- got. I'm sorry, they, they got a shortcut to the Super Bowl by deflating the balls. Uh, the, the investigation is still not over, but but um, oh oh, as as it was reported uh, the other week, um, eleven of twelve ball footballs were deflated um, in the Indianapolis Colts games. So oh, you can you can you can say well uh um. Um, Legarrette Blount uh, you know, ran in for three touchdowns. He ran it like it was a beach ball, uh, according to uh, I, don't, I don't know the player's name uh, on top of my head, but uh, one player, uh, uh, Le- Legarrette Blount ran into the touch, it ran to the end zone uh, with the ball like as, as if it was just a regular football, or you know, in other words, a, a beach ball. So, um, how, yeah, so Legarrette. Blunt accounted for um, some of their touchdowns, even though Tom Brady you know, got obviously got an advantage by uh, the footballs being deflated. Um, no, um, it's uh, it's it's really disappointing. Uh, Joe, you're you're a Jets fan. You hate you hate the Patriots so much. Uh, oh, what? How do you how do you feel about the Gate and and do you feel do you feel all all because of this investigation uh, um, emerging now? All because of this inv- investigation, does this change your perspective on the New England Patriots? You know, what I'm trying to ask you is, should the New England Patriots even be in the Super Bowl right now? Well, uh, let me just tell the audience, I'm a huge Jets fan, as everybody knows. I bleed green. All right, let's get back to this. Uh, to see the New England Patriots, uh, Bill Belichick and uh, Tom Brady, uh, to see that they uh, get a little deflating of the footballs, um, it doesn't surprise me. 
Um, as everybody knows, uh, they've already been caught with uh, the Spy Gate and the Super Bowl and the whole entire 2007 season. So uh, it doesn't surprise anybody. As a Jets fan, it doesn't surprise me. But uh, as you said, uh, does this like diminish their like not legacy, but as the as their season? I don't think so. I mean, uh, that team is uh, very uh, high powered right now. In the Colts game, I mean, uh, they ran in so much with Gregor Blunt. Uh, they they just manhandled them on defense side of the ball. Also, they've been playing so good on defense and offense side of the ball. So maybe they've been doing this the whole season. Maybe they've been getting away with it. I don't know. Uh, maybe I don't think they have been doing the whole season because maybe a team would have came out with it. But it's just it's just so sad to see a team that good. Now maybe this may diminish Bill Belichick's and Tom Brady's legacy. Um, I have respect for Tom Brady. I mean, he's one of the best quarterbacks of all time. I hate Bill Belichick with a passion though. But uh, besides that, uh, I think this is uh, this is going to be a huge thing if the Patriots win the Super Bowl. You know, a lot of people are going to be talking on that that Monday, February second, about should should they been in it? What should what should they have done? If uh, should the Colts been in? I mean, you can't do anything about that. But uh, you know what? It's whatever you got to do, and uh, now they're going to play it out in the Super Bowl. Joe, let me ask you. But do you think Tom Brady has to do? With to play in the footballs, do do you strongly believe Tom Brady has has to do with the the deflation of the footballs? Oh, most definitely. He would always he's always touching the balls. I mean, the footballs, of course. So, um, I mean, how can a quarterback in the NFL not know that maybe the the ball uh, crew or whatever it's called the the team management. Uh, how how can you not know that that happens? I mean, he obviously tampered with it. Uh, it it's they're all cheating. Uh, I don't want to say the word, but you know what they are. So uh, it's just it's just real sad what's going on with uh, Bill Belichick and Tom Brady. And now Robert Kraft coming out. I want a whole entire uh, apology from the NFL. I mean, come on, guys. You know you guys did this. Come on. This is sad. It, it's uh, in my own words, uh, really disappointing, uh, really, really upsetting. Um, um, I, 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 I'd, uh, I'd say uh, Tom Brady, a hundred percent, has to do with deflating the footballs. I, I strongly believe that Tom Brady has something to do about the deflation of the footballs. Yeah. You know, and everyone, everyone thought. Oh, I mean, like Tom. I mean, it's it's weird that Tom Brady in his press conference said, "Well, I don't ever, I I don't ever see anyone uh, from our team touching the footballs. You know, it could have been uh, due, you know, the deflation of footballs could have all been due to atmospheric pressure." But I think that's just BS. Yeah, come on. I mean, now now we come to find out a locker room attendant uh, was deflating the footballs in their bathroom, in their bathroom stalls. Oh. You know, and and the, you know, of course the NFL is going to investigate this for weeks and weeks to come. But but oh, if if you're the, if you're that locker room attendant, you got you got to ask him uh, what was your motivation? What was your motivation of deflating the footballs? Oh, it has it has to be Tom Brady. Uh, Tom Brady has to do with deflating the footballs. Yeah. Like you said, Joe, he's always touching the footballs. You know, he, he he went on record. He went on a radio, a Boston radio station, and even said that he uh likes the the the, the ball pressure at a certain point. So so it's just uh really disappointing. Uh, um. Yeah, uh, I think there there will always be many con conspiracy th theories if uh, this investigation uh, t turns out um, a different way. But I strongly believe uh, Tom Brady, uh, you know, uh, had something to do with this. And, and this this could this could very well affect uh, his uh, legacy, Joe. If yet you, if you'd have to agree. Um. 
pretty much, man. This this is big, man. I mean, if they win the Super Bowl this year, this definitely could come up in consideration of uh, diminishing his legacy. You don't know how long he's been doing this. Maybe he's been doing it his whole career. Maybe he only did that one week. So you don't you don't know. It's all up to speculation right now. But if they find out that he's been doing it for a while, oh, that could be huge. <laughs> Uh, well, anyways, uh, oh, I know, um, you know, before, before we get down to, um, well, actually, you know what, um, we might as well go ahead. Um, Joe, uh, if you had to pinpoint the Pats' biggest strength and weakness of their team, uh, what would those two be? What, what what would you target as their biggest strength and their biggest weakness? Their biggest strength is probably their multiple running backs they have. Oh my gosh, if you go down the list, they have LeGarrette Blunt, Brandon Bolden, Shane uh, Shane Gray, uh, Shane Vereen, uh, you just go down the list, Steven Ridley, they have a boatload of running backs on this team. And I think that's going to be huge in this game. Uh, number three, their biggest weakness. Um, I don't know if they have a lot of weaknesses, but uh, I'd have to go probably their uh, their depth at wide out. Uh, Julian Edelman and Amendola, they're very small wide receivers against those big, tall, strong uh, secondary of the Seahawks. I think it's going to be a big mismatch. You don't know how they're going to stand their ground, so I think that may be a big difference that the Seahawks secondary and uh, the Patriots uh, uh, wideouts. Hmm. Yeah, I think I think I'd have to agree with you, Joe. But um, um, I'd say um, their um, yeah, you know, their uh, their um biggest weakness, their their biggest weakness has to be um the uh, wide receivers, the depth at uh, wide receivers, uh, how how uh, small uh, Julian Edelman is, how small uh, Danny Amendola is. Danny, Danny Amendola hasn't really performed up to my expectations. I think he, he could he he could have been uh, much better throughout the playoffs, throughout this regular season. But uh, but uh, oh, death at wi the wide receiver position is a huge weakness for the uh, New England Patriots. Although their biggest strength is a course uh tom brady which will lead him into this game um joe uh there are uh, three keys to winning the uh super bowl uh my three key uh things for the patriots to win the super bowl is definitely number one uh revis and brandon browner playing uh strong hard football against Doug Baldwin and Jermaine Curse. If they can lock them down, oh, they'll have a trouble in this game, the Seahawks. Uh, number two, I think uh, containing Marshawn Lynch. They're going to dare the Seahawks to throw the football. They're going to put eight-man in the box, and they're going to dare uh, uh, Russell Wilson to throw the football because, you know, he has a concussion and everything. That may be, a, that may be a big in this game also. And number three, probably Rob Gronkowski. If he can have his ways with Cam Chancellor, Earl Thomas, and Richard Sherman, and Brian Maxwell, and Jeremy Lane, oh my gosh, this game may be a blowout then. Because Gronk can be lethal, and uh, that'll, that'll be uh, that'll be huge in this game. Yeah, I'd say uh, uh, Gronk has to play really well in order for the uh, New England Patriots to win the Super Bowl. Um, uh, I, I also say that uh, the defense needs to limit uh, the Seattle Seahawks possessions on offense. I think they need to just uh, limit how many times uh, Russell Wilson gets, you know, Russell Wilson um, allows himself the opportunity on the field. So I think they need to limit possessions. And lastly, um, they have to get they have to get off to a good start. Um, the Green Bay Packers got off to a good start and almost won the game against the Seattle Seahawks. They have to come out strong. Or else, uh, I think it'll be uh, sort of a blowout like last year we saw between Denver 
and the Seattle Seahawks. The New England Patriots have to uh, come off front fire uh, out of the gates in this game. So, so um, oh um, uh, now before we get on to our Super Bowl prediction, Joe, um, would you would you say that um, uh. Uh, would 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 you would you say this is probably Tom Brady's final time, final chance to win a fourth Super Bowl ring? Uh, I would I wouldn't say that. Um, Tom Brady is definitely not done like uh, I think Peyton Manning is actually. Uh, Tom Brady, um, he's gonna have maybe four or five years left in him, and uh, he showed last year he got to the AFC Championship game. With cashier at shop rates at wideouts. I mean, come on. That was bad last year. And now this year, he had a little bit healthier Gronk. And uh, if he could just have all these weapons keep on coming his way, you know what? They could be in it every year to come. That This is the Patriots. So, uh, I don't think this is definitely not his last chance to get this fourth ring. Yeah, I don't know uh, if the NFL will... Uh will uh, hit uh, Tom Brady with some penalties, uh, oh, may maybe uh, worse than uh, the uh, the uh, bounty gate the bounty gate case we saw in New Orleans. I'm not sure we're gonna see anything like like that. Any any any, any punishment similar more, or more harsh than that. But um, but um, um, but we'll 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 see. We'll see. Uh, what happens after the Super Bowl? Uh, uh, whether uh, uh, Tom Brady is suspended for a year or two, um, that that could very well affect him. It affected uh, a Rod, a Rod, um, uh, same age as uh, Tom Brady. Um, a a Rod uh, was suspended for quite some time. Uh, it's been off the field for a few years now, so that could very well be the case for Tom Brady. Tom Brady could be seeing himself in his final su Super Bowl. Uh, make, make this could be, this could very well be Tom Brady's final Super Bowl appearance, and that's uh, music to uh, well, Jet fans. Uh, I, know, I know, I know, Joe. Uh, I was, uh, but you know, be really happy if this was the final time uh, Tom Brady uh, made the Super Bowl. But, uh, but um, there's gonna be more coming out of the NFL investigation with, uh, with uh, the flight gate, as as they as they said now. So, um, so. Uh, now, if Tom Brady isn't suspended, uh, we could very well see him in the Super Bowl, uh, from my perspective, one more time. But uh, but uh, th this is this is a uh, a, a really uh, big game for uh, Tom Brady. Tom Brady definitely wants to win a fourth Super Bowl ring uh, and uh, reach reach uh, uh, Joe Montana possibly still. So um so um uh, Tom Brady is making history as we speak. Uh, he's made. Tons of Super Bowl appearances, tons of AFC Championship appearances, but that may have been all due to the fact of Deflate Gate. You never know, but um, but um, um, it's a, it's a, it's you know it's a, it's a way and see, uh, you know um, um, this is a, this is a huge Super Bowl for Tom Brady. Tom Brady has lost uh, his last two Super Bowls against uh, the New York Giants. Uh, both in uh, 2008 and 2012. So, well, Tom Tom Brady is looking to rebound, looking to win his first Super Bowl since 2006 over the Philadelphia Eagles. Uh, Joe, um, this is where I ask you: uh, Who do you think is ultimately going to win the Super Bowl? Who, who do you have winning Super Bowl 49 in Arizona? Well, uh, I'm going with the Seattle Seahawks to repeat. And win the Super Bowl. I mean, I really think the Seattle defense is going to have their ways with their wideouts. And if they can contain Gronk, this could be huge in this game. I think uh, I think if they can give the Seahawks offense enough uh, opportunities on offense, this game will – it's going to be close, very close. It's not going to be a blowout like last year. But uh, I think it's going to be one of the best Super Bowls we've had in a while. And um, go with the Seahawks. Yeah, I, I gotta go with the Seahawks as well, Joe. Uh, 
I'm going to predict uh, the Seahawks to win 30-20 uh, to 20 in this game against the New England Patriots. Or you want me to give you a score also? Uh, hell, uh, I'll go 31-27 Seahawks. All right. All right. And uh, uh, your bold player prediction. You think uh, uh, Tom Brady will uh, deflate the balls at the very last second uh, before the game? Uh, my bold prediction, and you asked the bold prediction, I think Richard Sherman is going to get an offensive touchdown as a wide receiver in this game. Hmm. Okay. I think uh, Marshawn Lynch is going to go off. I think he's going to have a huge day, uh, boast into the end zone for a couple touchdowns, and uh, contribute in Seattle winning this game over the New England Patriots. So, it's about does it for uh, Super Bowl, our Super Bowl 49 preview. We'll be back with a Super Bowl 49 recap uh, right after the Super Bowl. We actually might just do a live recap after the Super Bowl. Who knows? But, um, but the Super Bowl should be uh, very interesting. Should should be uh, fun to watch. I'll play not blow like last year, but uh, but uh, we'll see who walks out victorious uh, from Super Bowl 49. Will it be uh, Tom Brady? Will it be uh, uh, the Cheaters? Or will it be uh, Seattle Seahawks? So uh, we'll wait and see uh, who wins Super Bowl 49. As this about does it for Sports Cam TV. I want to thank Joe Rea for joining us as always. You can subscribe to SportsCam on YouTube at SportsCam TV. We really appreciate it if you guys hit the subscribe button now. Really, really appreciate it as we gain some subscribers. But um, um, now tell tell us below in the comment section who do you think is going to win the Super Bowl? Is it is it uh, Seattle or New England? Or one of those two? Who who will ultimately win the Super Bowl? So. Tell us below in the comment section as it's about does it for Sports Game TV. Thank you guys and peace out.